All right, Garrett. So what your report is, is going to show you is, is that uh, your speed control is a little bit off. You had, again, you're up there in the almost the one mile an hour category of variance between fastest and slowest, 1.07. Is what you did. That's just be, you got you got going pretty good, and then you started slowing down. And my guess is the reason you slowed down was trying to get the ball to recover on the back end without having to make a move. Okay, uh, that's my guess as to what you were doing. But when we started, the first thing I noticed is is that you went, you missed to the right, and then you missed way left, and then I had to delete that shot because the machine didn't read it actually correctly and then you threw the strike which was this shot right here the second shot then you missed right then you missed right then you struck then you missed right then you struck then you missed right then you struck then you missed right then you missed right then you missed right okay so your your miss is to the right which is good news that's the good that's the good news okay and you can see by the way that you miss Let's go back to the other screen. It's easier to see. Hey, let's do. Number one is the red. Okay, you can see it's 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 missed in, and it went to out. So you're at eighteen point four three. That's your furthest spot left okay and it went out to 5.34 which is your second furthest part to the right there's the only one that went further right is that one right there okay so that's the way we want to miss is inside out so that means your technique is matching up to the contemporary game very well okay we need to do a little bit better job of of directing the angle and that's what this right here this is in all those categories going across here in your grid in a sport environment this is the most important column okay this variable here is what's going to say how's it going to get to here okay because I'm not going to give you any lane help I'm not going to let you get to the dry earlier and get it to hook sooner or I'm not going to get you, let you tug it and let it push longer down the lane with oil. I'm going to have the same amount of oil all the way down the lane. And if you miss right, it goes right. You miss left, it goes left. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean there isn't a part of that lane that's playable. Okay. And this shot here is the one that shows you what part of the lane plays. And that's the second shot. 1483 was flush. Okay, so your lay down point was right around 16 and a half. It was at the arrows, you were at 12, 12, 13. And it was traveling at an angle of minus, of minus 1.4 degrees of angle, which is way different than minus two. Okay, that's why this one kept going right, was because your angle was more severe. So you missed in and it missed out versus what actually worked. Okay. So this is this is what we want to focus on is what to do. It's pretty easy to say when well, I did this wrong and I missed to the right or I tugged it or I threw it too hard or any of those things. You know, after the fact you can beat yourself up real easy. But that's not where you want to stay. Where you want to stay is this is what I need to do. And it's not about throw it slower or throw it faster or this or that compared to the last shot. Okay? Don't miss it to the right. Make sure you don't miss it to the right. Be careful. Don't miss it to the right. Last time I missed it to the right. I don't want to miss it to the right. And all you're telling yourself is to miss it to the right. You just said miss it to the right like eight times, okay? And the subconscious doesn't get the do's and the don'ts. It just gets what you're saying, and that you're saying miss it right. So that's where it's going to go, and that was the reoccurring theme, is you missed right, you missed right, you missed right. So that kind of tells me your head is, is always in fixed mode. 
You can't you can't fix the last shot, ever. It's done. It's, it's in the books. It's over. You want to learn from it if you can, okay? But when you get out there with that ball in your hand, the only thing that you want to be focusing on is what to do. And that's called a pre-shot routine. And your pre-shot routine has all the right components in it to reassure yourself that if you do those components to the best of your ability, you're going to be okay. Okay? You're never going to be perfect. Don't strive to be, well, you can strive to be perfect, but don't expect it. Okay? Perfect comes around, you know, once in a blue moon, whatever the saying is. And blue moons come around, come around about every three years. So we're going to do better than that. But perfect is, again, it's a, it's a happenstance. It's not a I'm going to do that again and again and again. I got 25, 35, I don't know, got 50,000 catch reports. There ain't two shots the same in any of them. Okay, so it ain't going to happen. So all we can try to do is, see, this is where I want to go. And this shot here says, I want to throw it at about 18 miles an hour. I want to lay it down around 16 and a half, um, which means you're probably sliding on right around 21. Uh, and that's what I saw you doing. You starting on 18, finishing on 21. Um, and then if we hit 12 board at the arrows or maybe even a little bit left of that, it takes us to eight board at the break point. Eight point at the break point, eight board at the break point takes us back to the pocket with a reasonable rev rate of 321. And I would say you, you that's probably an accurate number for you. You may be, a, you, I think you have the potential for more, but right now I think it's that's probably what you're getting is right around 320 to 340. Uh, I don't really put a whole lot of faith in this number, but uh, I trust my eyes better than what this machine tells me. Uh, but I've got a pattern now that should show up the real deal. That's why I put it down. Okay. Um, when it, when we look at your overall catch, your again your your other numbers on the report are saying that you know you do a lot of things pretty well. So your launch angle and range isn't all that bad. You're at 0.85, but you are on that borderline of of too much, not enough, or basically you're on the borderline of having too much. Okay, the pattern is 42 feet long. It's fresh. Um, you're not going to try to open up the lane too much, and uh, that's where you kind of got trapped. Is you were looking for a little more recovery, and the pattern just isn't ready to give it to you yet. It will, God willing, a little bit, and maybe in an hour or so. But right now, it's saying that you're not going to get there from here. If you try to go right of eight board or maybe even seven, you might be able to get by with seven if your launch angle is straight enough. But the 1.4 launch angle, 1.3, 1.2 is going to be the magic number to getting you to the pocket. There's minus 1.2, and we got to 15.29. That's that's flush, okay? 14.75, your launch angle was minus 1.3, okay? This one was 1.4, and it was 11.53, so you probably didn't get quite as good a hand in that ball as what you needed because it went too far to the right. But, again, that was a right-right miss. So that could have just been that you just got the ball one board too far to the right. And it found the oil and said, see you later. I'll be right back. Okay. So that's, that's how temperamental the patterns are in sport environment where one board will be the difference between strike and seven. I'm missing a head pin. It may be even worse. Depends on your rev rate. Your ability to hit your mark at the arrows, again, you're within 1.9 boards. Uh, that's pretty strong. But again, I think we're, we're on that cusp of being too far to the right. And we needed to be maybe a little bit further left to give us more margin of error, okay? And the margin of error is going to be in. It's not going to be away for right now. But you still you got to play the game. you got to play the pattern the right way. Break point, again, this is what it's telling me. When you're this accurate on this, not these two numbers, you should resemble, this number here should resemble this, if not be better. Okay? And But it got worse. So that means that we're, we're on that border of here's where good is and 
and bad is a half a board away, okay? Which, of course, is going to affect your angle of entry and, and your RPMs are, are what they are. So that's basically what this is telling you is, is that, number one, your game is actually quite good. Um, in my opinion, you got a good game. Uh, it needs some refinements. But uh, uh, I think we got to get your head in the right spot as well so that the refinements will have a chance to take place more often and you're not going to self-sabotage the next shot by thinking about the last shot too much. Okay. So we're going to get out of cats here. And I'm going to show you some video of yourself. Actually, 